Debut again. Um, going to show you something new again. Um, I know it wasn't long since the last one, but um, here we go. Uh, right, so here's my Amica. Now, this is my Amica Pro, uh, as you can probably see here. Uh, I've got a nice little stereo system on it, and it's a 17 inch monitor. I'll put this in the kitchen just to make it easier to film rather than my usual place. Um, and you'll notice down here, right, I'll give you a clue a load of Amiga floppy disks. Okay? So, guess what we're showing today? Obviously. Um, as you know, some time ago I've um, well I've had I've got this long-term project. I mean, uh, we all know about it. Um, it's uh, <coughs> trying to get uh, AROS on a base reference platform. Atom uh, been quite successful. Got lots and lots of bits done for it. But this is the next um, the next part. Now uh, I spoke to I finally found someone to. Um, do this for me. It's um, the AROS driver for Catweasel. Um, this is the Catweasel Mark IV PCI card. Um, so if you've got one of them, yes, you can you can run it now, uh, which would be quite nice. <clears throat> now, you might be able to hear this clicking noise, but if you watch over here, see the flashing light? Let's do that again. Remember that? Right, that's because it's got a it's a normal PC floppy disk drive. Um, but it's connected by the Catweasel card and in the spare Amica um, PCI slot. So, um, <coughs> yes, excuse me, I've got a bit of a bad chest today, so one second. <coughs> yeah, there you go. <coughs> right, um, so I'm going to show you this working. Now, on the screen, I've got it running at 1024, 768, um, to make it a bit easier for you to see. I'm going to show you. Oh, I've got a little surprise. Well, it might not be a surprise for everyone, but um, I've got a little surprise for you later on. Uh, for classic Amiga and emulation fans. Right, so here's my deluxe paint disc. Now, up until recently, right, and this is one of the reasons for me um, getting all the hardware off to Ian. Um, yeah, basically, there, there's been a, a, a bounty for the Cat Weasel on AROS project, but no one's supplying the hardware, so I sent an Amiga, la 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 la, with an, um, a PCI uh, Cat Weasel card. And he delivered this about a week ago, uh, and it's absolutely stunning. So, um, here we go, um, a floppy disk. <coughs> now, first thing to watch is the light, and then the second thing to watch over here is the icon up here. There you go, see? Now, um, the icon only appeared about uh, two days ago from Neil uh, Kafka's um, updated the uh, kernel, so it automatically, now you don't have to, you used to have to updo the update. Um, but now it automatically recognises it. So if I open this disc up, and let's go to, I know there's a nice image in here. So this is obviously from Amos. <coughs> Ignore that, it does tend to, when it's reading the disc, it does tend to um, stop most other things, but there you go. Um, right, so let's double click on the gorilla. Now, of course, it's looking with the icons actually set up to point to the laptop paint 3. So we're going to change that. And I'm just going to put MV, which is my multi view, my C drive. <coughs> so we can see this image. And keep my little light flashing. That's why I put this here. It does sort of block the screen, but I want you to see the flashing light. So hopefully people believe me that it's actually there. Uh, same thing again. Cancel. So we can see this thing working. Uh, MV is what I'm going to type, wasn't it? Right. So that's all very well. Um, now, of course, that means that any AROS application now can use these these uh, files. So, for example, if I open Opus, click on Volumes. Now you see I've got the art um, file there, but the the drive is actually TD0. So there's TD0, which is double densities, TH0, which is high densities, and then there's a couple more for um, uh, MS DOS disks, so you can read PC disks as well. So whilst it's a dying standard, um, you know, there's an awful lot of Amiga software out there on floppy disks, people say, you know, just giving the things away. So it's actually really good. I actually installed, um, although I've had this for ages, I installed my sampler, can you see that, my GBP sampler from the disk and it's, oh, whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> it's very good. Right, um, so yeah, you can see we've got the, uh, the data in here. Uh, if I click on Grinner and show, <coughs> okay, so you can see that's some Opus reading the discs, and it will show it again. I don't know why it does this. Shows it twice. Now go away. Right. <coughs> so that's from AOS applications can access that. But the interesting thing, obviously, is um, from the emulator. So now that the light's gone out, if I pop this disc out, right. Now this time I'm going to stick in. 
Now you have to have a word, this is uh, an Amiga disc. Not really, there you go. So it's got this 40k demos. Now, why am I putting 40k, 40K demos on? Well, um, Janus has got something new, which um, uh, <laughs> I can't believe. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't believe Ollie. <clears throat> he sends out a thing saying, "Well, here's a new version. Here's a new version of uh, Janus for you, and it does this, this, da 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 da." And about 0.7 was something new, right? <laughs> You'll find out. Uh, anyway, so, uh, that, oh, before I do that, you can see the icons appeared again. I just want to show you something. Um, okay, my demos. Now, bear in mind, none of this would be possible without Ian Gledhill's work. Now, also, I'd like to qualify that, the fact that it's based on other works. I think he did the, um, I may be wrong here, but I'm, I think he did the OS4 version, which is based on the Linux version. So, um, there's a, it's, it's the usual thing of, building on top of other people's work. So there's some great work done by a number of people out there. I, I don't know all their names, so forgive me, I, 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 I don't. Um, uh, but So Ian's done this bit for us, okay, based on other work which he did and other people did. So this, this you know, it's, it's you, know, you understand what I'm saying here. Right, so if I click on the 40k demos, 